That's it? Yeah. Is that it? Okay. We're rolling? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you're a Quaker, can you get married? I, yeah. I thought so. Yeah. But Shakers were celibate. Yeah. They practiced celibacy. Cause That's why there's only three left, right? I, by no means, am a, an authority on the Shakers. But do you know what the, what about coitus made it the genders unequal? I guess, I, I'm only guessing here. As a woman. <laughs> but that there's some, um, uh, you know, something of a submissive nature to yeah. being a woman mm -hmm. to a man in the sexual act. I'm, I mean, this well, is well, I guess back then you could just me making it up. And believe me, I watched Channel 13 last night and they had uh, Shark Mountain and they showed a, a group of male sharks. Uh, attacking a female shark's gills and then they showed that that they had to tire her out and actually make her bleed from the gills and um, before intercourse yeah okay. and I was like wow oh. I, I mean not that I'm not <laughs> associating that with human beings but it seems like it's this one record that really that you gravitated towards in, well, in it's been making this show. It's been in the company collection for 35 years. That was my first uh, uh, trip when I was first uh, a 21 year old assistant to Liz LeCompte. Was um, we took a group field trip to visit all the Shaker communities mm. on on the East Coast in New England, in New York, and New England. And at that point, how many Shakers? Well, we visited the sisters at Sabbath Day Lake, and I think there were a handful of sisters and a couple of brothers. But we met well, Mildred Barker, who uh, is the lead singer on this album. Okay, wow. You know, the other thing that struck me as I walked into your rehearsal yesterday is that, that Liz isn't directing. You're directing, <laughs> and, and Liz is performing. She's, she's a shaker lady. Yeah, and, yeah. And... Well, that's I, I wrote down, uh, I took some notes as I was watching yesterday, and I wrote oh. down about Liz, problem actor, <laughs> asterisk, <laughs> problem actor. Um, yeah, it's like the performers are real, they're, they're, they're a real, they're conduits for the record, that's really, and you're, you're doing the liner notes in between the songs. Yeah. And so it's just really, it is, it is fetishistic, mm -hmm. right, in that mm -hmm. way, because it's really all about this this item that is the record with, mm -hmm. the, with the package. Yeah. Um, so, and it's, and you guys seem to be going whole hog with it. I mean, it's really like, uh, it's, 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 it's so uh, bare, it's bone dry. Yeah, know? and yeah. And that's, uh, not, that's a brave thing to do. Not a lot of layering. No. No, just those plaintiff voices. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, Oh, here's what I was thinking before. I wrote down Dale, Gale, Dale and Gale, and then I had Vale because of the Carter Carter family. Oh, yeah. Uh, Church in the Valley of the Wildwood. And then Trees, Pure, and then I wrote Sexy. I thought I think the show's kind of sexy. I, oh, I thought so, too. Yeah. I think so, too, yeah. 